Linda Tripp, a key figure in the presidential sex scandal that nearly brought down the administration of Bill Clinton over his affair with one-time White House intern Monica S. Lewinsky, leading to the president's impeachment in 1998, died April 8. She was 70. The death was confirmed by her son, Ryan Tripp. Other details were not immediately available. She had been treated for breast cancer in the past. Miss Tripp was praised as a whistleblower by some for calling out presidential misbehavior with an intern in the Oval Office, and was vilified by others as a snitch who betrayed her friendship with Lewinsky in an effort to bring down a president. Ms. Tripp had worked as a White House secretary during the administration of President George H. W. Bush and stayed on for the first two years of the Clinton presidency, in 1993 and 1994. She later told a grand jury that she was troubled by the president's behavior toward women. After she was transferred to the Pentagon, Ms. Tripp befriended Lewinsky, a former White House intern who confided that she had a sexual relationship with Clinton while he was president. The two women had frequent conversations, in person and over the phone. Ms. Tripp secretly began to record their telephone conversations, resulting in hours of intimate and sometimes graphic descriptions of Lewinsky's relationship with Clinton. Ms. Tripp later turned over her taped recordings to independent counsel Kenneth Starr, who was investigating possible wrongdoing by the President and First Lady Hillary Clinton in connection with the Whitewater real estate firm in Arkansas. After Ms. Tripp's evidence was introduced, Starr refocused his investigation on Clinton's relationship with Lewinsky, convening a grand jury to determine whether the president had broken any laws. Among other things, Ms. Tripp told Starr's investigators about a navy blue dress Lewinsky had worn during an encounter with Clinton that was stained with the president's semen. She had advised Lewinsky not to have it cleaned, in case she might need it as future evidence. I just don't want to take away your options down the road, should you need them, she told Lewinsky during one of their recorded conversations, later made public in the Independent Council's report, the so-called, Star Report. I just, I don't trust the people around him, and I just want you to have that for you, Miss Tripp added. Put it in a baggie, put it in a Ziploc bag, and you pack it in with your treasures, for what I care. Clinton was later charged with obstruction of justice and lying under oath and was impeached by the U.S. House of Representatives in December 1998. He was acquitted by the Senate in February 1999. Ms. Tripp spent eight days testifying to a grand jury convened by Starr. When Lewinsky was called to testify before the grand jury, she was asked if she had anything to add. I'm really sorry for everything that's happened, she said. And I hate Linda Tripp. On the final day of the Clinton presidency in 2001, Ms. Tripp was fired from her job at the Pentagon. She sued the government for violating her privacy and reached a settlement of $595,000 in 2003. She later settled in Middleburg, VA, where she and her husband operated a store selling Christmas decorations. This is a developing story. A complete obituary will follow. Read more Washington Post obituaries. Margaret Burbage, who explored the universe's distant reaches, dies at 100. John Prine, Grammy-winning bard of Broken Hearts and Dirty Windows, dies at 73 of coronavirus. Patricia Bosworth, author of Revealing Biographies and Memoirs, dies at 86 of coronavirus.